Hey guys, today I am sharing with you a super simple recipe for my veggie chow mein. This is a side that I make usually to serve with fried rice or lao mein. And it is so delicious and so easy. To get started, I have some green bell pepper here, about a half of a large green bell pepper that I'm gonna just um, cut up into slices. Just gonna go ahead and julienne um, some green bell pepper. You can also use red. I have some ginger here that I'm gonna go ahead and grate for about one tablespoon of ginger. And about six cloves of garlic that I'm also gonna go ahead and grate. You can finely mince your garlic and your ginger if you like. Just fine, grating it is a little bit easier. I also have a couple uh, green onions here that I'm gonna roughly chop up into small pieces. As well as I have some celery. I'm gonna be using um, some of the leafy part of the celery as well as like the stalk part. So the leafy bits here, I'm gonna finely mince up. And then I'm also gonna cut into strips our the longer strips of the celery. I'm using about two um, stalks of celery for this as well. I'll have everything listed below for you for what I use. But the great thing about this is that you can add more or less of anything that you want pretty much. Now I have a couple of carrots here. I'm also gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut it in half and each half into quarters and then julienne the carrots and just cut them into little strips like so and set that all aside. I set that all on a plate here and what I have here is a couple of culantro leaves. You can also use cilantro, but I really like the flavor of this. I'm just adding just a little bit to give it a little bit of extra flavor. This is optional, of course. You don't have to add this to it, but I really like that extra little bit of flavor that it adds to it. So I'm definitely adding it. I sometimes even use um, green seasoning if you have some of that, like about a teaspoon of that but I love that extra flavor that this adds to it. And of course, we're gonna need some cabbage. Just using some regular cabbage here, regular green cabbage. I just ended up using one and a half uh, carrots because my carrot was pretty big. And I'm gonna use about a half of this cabbage. It's not too big of a cabbage. It all is gonna depend on the size of the cabbage that you have. So you want to make sure and wash all the inside and the outside of the cabbage. But what I find the easiest to do is just wash the outside and then I'm going to cut this up in two strips like so. Just about maybe a quarter to a half of an inch thick. And then we're going to set this in a bowl or you can use like a strainer and just get it all out like that and then give it a really nice wash so everything gets really nice washed and cleaned. In a large saucepan here on medium high heat, I'm gonna add in some vegetable oil, just about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And once our oil is nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and add in our garlic and our ginger, as well as our green onions. 
Now I have different variations that I make of this recipe, but this is the easiest version that I use and it's so quick and easy to put together and it's a really great slide for fried rice or lao mein. So I've added in my garlic, my ginger, and my green onions. I'm going to toss that around in my vegetable oil and just let it go for about 20 to 30 seconds just to release its flavor into the oil. So now that's sitting nice in the oil, we're going to let that go just to release its flavors. About 30 seconds, we don't want to burn our garlic or our ginger. And we're just going to go ahead and add in all the rest of our ingredients, except our cabbage. We're going to wait for the end to add our cabbage. But I'm adding in the carrots, the celery, the culantro, and the green bell pepper. You can also add some onion to this if you'd like. You can add some mushrooms to this if you'd like. Give that a really nice mix to make sure it's coated with that oil and the garlic and the ginger. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up and let this cook for about a minute to two minutes just to kind of um, tenderize those carrots just a little bit and just partially cook everything through. After a couple minutes or so, I'm just gonna come in and give it a toss. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add in my cabbage. Now cabbage is like my best, my favorite part of this. I love the crunch of it. My little ones actually love the crunch of it as well. So I add a little extra cabbage to my veggie chow mein. Make sure and season this generously with some salt. And I'm adding in some black pepper as well. You can definitely use white pepper. And I'm gonna be adding in some five spice powder. You're gonna want about a half a teaspoon of five spice powder. It can be a little bit strong and overpowering, so you don't want to add too much, but a half a teaspoon is a good amount. Give that a nice mix. Make sure everything is tossed and seasoned well. After I've gone ahead and really tossed that really well, <laughs> you just want to make sure everything is coated in the salt, the pepper, and the five spice. I'm going to add in a couple teaspoons of soy sauce. as well as about a half a teaspoon of sesame seed oil. And we're gonna mix that all around. Now optional, you can add some granulated, I, I actually forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> optional is you can add a teaspoon of granulated sugar to this if you want, but because I'm serving this with fried rice and I add sugar to my fried rice, I'm leaving the sugar out at this point. So after I've added that in and mixed it all around, I'm going to cover this and let this go for about a minute to two minutes just to cook down that cabbage a little bit. I like a crunch in my cabbage, so I let it go for about a minute and a half or so. Depends on how much crunch you want in your cabbage. Minute and a half to two minutes is good, and that is it. Turn your heat off. You've got a great side to serve with fried rice or lao mein or whatever it is your heart's desire. A great way to have a little extra veggies in your meal. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.